Hi, I am Dr. Edgar Campos from Mexicali Bariatric Center. As I promised, I'm going to talk about acid reflux if you already have weight loss surgery. So one of the most common surgeries back in 2000 was the gastric banding. Gastric banding is an adjustable band. And one of the frequently asked questions with the gastric banding is what happened with my reflux? A lot of patients with the gastric banding, they feel some acid reflux. Even they cannot sleep um, during the night because acid reflux is burning back. In this case, 90% of our cases that they feel that acid reflux, it's basically because the stomach is squeezed with a tight band. So the food is not going down. So basically it's not acid reflux, it's regurgitation of food. If you have a pipe and in that pipe you squeeze on the bottom and then you put water and you lay down, basically that water will return back. So that's what happened with the gastric banding. If you have a, a very tight band and during the night you eat something and that something stays on the little pouch for a longer time, the stomach will feel like it's burning because the food will be irritating that stomach and that esophagus. Something that we find very common with the gastric banding is a very large esophagus. That means that the esophagus become a reservoir of food and you can keep going and eating more and more. When you eat more and more, basically, you can feel that your stomach and your esophagus is becoming a storage of food. So when you lay back, you can feel that the food is going back through your throat and you feel that you're choking during the night. The easiest thing that we can do in this case is unfill your band and give you a liquid diet for at least 10 days. So your stomach can shrink again and your esophagus can shrink again. So there will be less inflammation and less acid reflux. Sometimes if even around 10% of the cases, even with the young feel, they still have problems. Well, we need to go and check probably with endoscopy or with barium swallow and check if you don't have any further disease like erosion or penetration of the band or if you have any ulcer or if you have any symptoms. With the gastric banding, normally it's very hard to eat some dense food like bread, rice, and pasta. So we advise avoid that kind of food. Avoid irritating, something that can burn your stomach. And drink plenty of liquids before you eat something and after you eat something, around half an hour before and half an hour later. Because if you eat something and you put a plug in your stomach and then add water, basically, You'll, you'll create like a pool of water mixed with food. What happens if you're having acid reflux with a gastric banding and you want to have another weight loss surgery because your gastric banding is not giving you the weight loss that you expect? Well, either we can remove that band and convert to a gastric sleeve. It's very often that we remove a band and we find a hiatal hernia. So in the, in the same surgery, we can remove that band we can uh, repair that hiatal hernia and then we can do a gastric sleeve. So in this case, your stomach will be smaller, you can continue to lose weight and basically the acid reflux will improve. But if for any reason you have enough acid reflux that is giving you problems like esophagitis or barrett esophagus, then the other option is remove that band and create a little gastric pouch and do a gastric bypass. So. Basically, gastric banding is a surgery that can have different options to convert. Either we can do a gastric sleeve, you can do a gastric bypass, or we can go with a full DS, remove the gastric banding, do a gastric sleeve, and then staple the duodenum and go with a full DS. Depends on your expectancies on the weight loss and the kind of acid reflux and the proper test that you have. Thank you for watching our videos. I will see you next time.